All right, so if you're looking at this screen, you'll probably already have known before clicking on this video based on obviously what the title is, but this is RetroArch. And it's one of the most uh, popular front ends to emulators because it gathers everything in one place and lets you have kind of like a giant uh, retro system, you know? RetroArch, uh, a collection of emulators that lets you run a bunch of old classic games. Now, here on my system because I haven't had time and also um, I don't have a real strong uh, gaming PC at the moment. I will build one eventually soon, very soon. But uh, I can't really run any of the really nice emulators, which I would really love to do just to uh, benchmark uh, different GPUs um, to show different uh, performance scores based on what kind of hardware you have. And right now, the um, prices of uh, GPUs have actually kind of stabilized, which is beautiful and amazing. So it makes it even more tempting to go out and build um, a new system. But anyway, on this uh, PC here, I only have the GBA, <laughs> and I got two games there, uh, DBZ and Metroid, uh, and then I got the PlayStation. I'm not going to load the PlayStation because uh, this file is actually compressed, and so RetroArch uh, will uh, decompress the file temporarily before running it and this PC is so slow that it would take ages to to do it so I'm not gonna run this but I'll, I'll run a GBA game here just as an example of uh, what we're gonna see happen when it boots here okay so you see it just went directly into the game right but um, let me exit this for compatibility reasons or um, what just happened here okay there we go but anyway for compatibility reasons sometimes you would want to put a BIOS in uh, which is the the basic file that runs at boot and for RetroArch it's actually really really easy to uh, set the BIOS because it does it automatically for you. All you need to do is set the directory which uh, your BIOS lives in and that's pretty much it. You place your BIOS in there and then you're good to go. So for example, I'm gonna just demonstrate this with the uh, GBA here. So if we were to go back, uh, see one thing I don't like about RetroArch is that like there are so many settings, like why is it all over the place sort of, but whatever I mean it's just me maybe it's me that's all over the place I don't know but so you have to scroll down and uh, depending on what user interface you'll see this uh, that you use sorry this will look a little bit different probably uh, but it's mainly the same thing because I've used X cross before the um, XMB uh, interface and it looks the same pretty much but you just go to settings then you scroll until you see uh, directory here you can navigate through and select your uh, BIOS directory. And it's interesting because they call it system. I guess they call it system because uh, it's a wide range of systems. So um, anyway, you set it here. The other option is through the command line. Um, and I actually, I think I recommend doing it through here because uh, in the configuration file, um, it's not so clear. So I'll show what that means. Uh, so I think I got it here. All right. Uh, if you were to search for BIOS, there is no uh, BIOS term anywhere in this configuration. So what it really is called is a system. It's not this system. It's the next system. So here it's called system directory. And it's set here. So you can do it through either here or uh, you can go into the GUI in RetroArch and then do it here. And I think I would recommend just doing it here in the GUI just because of that annoyance that it's not called BIOS. But either way, whichever way you choose to do it, it'll work. Um, so anyway, I had purposely moved out my BIOS so that uh, I could demonstrate it booting without. So let me just uh, exit out. Okay, so I quit that. Now let us see, I think I put it here. 
yeah see the GBA bio so I moved it out temporarily so now let's move it back in so MV GBA bios to system there you go so now we can go back here run recharge okay. now let's go back to the GBA yeah. and let's boot up DBZ again You see, we're greeted now with the uh, Game Boy uh, BIOS output. Now, this will help with compatibility with some games, and also if you just want to have the little theme. I know that there are some emulators I think that try to uh, emulate the the BIOS also, um, but you know, due to legal reasons, you guys know the whole spiel. I don't need to get into that. So you 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 should know how to get your BIOS the legal way, the proper way. That's all I'm going to say about that. But anyway, I think that's it for this video. Um, if you appreciate the content, you found this useful, you'd like to see more, uh, please give it a like and a sub. It would be greatly appreciated. And I hope that you found this somewhat useful or entertaining.